Hey guys, so today we're going to keep going with our Xcode tutorial and UI collection view and now that we have the four cells here uh, what we're going to do is we're going to customize these cells with a image and also make these one, two, three, and four labels into text. So, as you can see here in my, I imported some images uh, they're just basic JPEGs that I took with my cell phone. Um, and we have our custom cells classes, which we are going to modify. Uh, the first thing I'm going to need, though, is uh, let's add a new group. I'll call it classes. And we're going to add a new file. And this is going to be an NS object. This is what is going to hold our name of the uh, image that we want to display and the text that we want to display inside the cell. So each cell needs its own object. So we're going to call this class feed item since we're trying to make this a news feed. Okay, so we have those. Now I'm going to go into the class feed item h file and we are going to uh, make an NS string and we're going to call that uh, image path and then another NS string which we're going to call, we'll just call it text for right now. So those are the private uh, variables. And I'll also make the public. Just copy that. Okay, and in the .m file of the class, I'm also going to, have to synthesize those properties. Okay, so now we have a usable class which we can define in our cell and use in our cell and make each cell have this class. So let's go back to our number cell and instead of sending over a number we're going to send the class feed item. So I need to import class feed item and here we're going to do class feed item we'll call that feed item and instead of text number we'll just call it text text and we also need to add an IB outlet of a UI image view we'll just call that image picture okay now we haven't linked those yet but I'm going to go into the .m file and under load cell, we don't have that method anymore. We're actually going to be calling class feed item and then feed item for the load cell. And text number is no longer. Uh, we're going to be setting up the text, set text, feed item, dot text and then the uh, image picture, we're going to set image we're going to do UI image image named and that's going to be the feed item dot image path now every time that we call load cell here uh, we'll load up the txt text and the image picture with the feed item information that we're going to send from our cells view controller. But let's go back to the main storyboard here real quick and let's set up this cell. So I'm going to stretch this out a little bit, make it a little bit larger 
and we'll bring that label to the bottom and we'll stretch that out too and then we need a UI image view And I'm just going to make the UI image view, uh, let's do aspect fit. And we can see what one of those looks like right now. If we just add one of the images, you can see how it's going to look. And then we click on the cell again. Since we have it set up as our number cell class, we can go back and connect the image view and the label. Okay, so save that off. Now let's go back to our cells view controller. And we're going to have a new array here. Now we have the NS mutable array of items. So back in our .m file, instead of just adding strings, what we want to do is add the class feed item to our array. So I'm going to go back to our header file and import class feed item. And on load, uh, what we'll do is we'll make four new class feed items. Just call it item one. And we have item one, set text, some text one, and item one, set image path. I'm going to check the names of my images here. Looks like we have image underscore one dot JPEG. Okay. I'm going to do this four more, three more times to make a total of four. Okay, and then we are going to add them to the array, so add the object, we'll add item 1, 2, 3, and 4, and we don't need those strings anymore. Now since we're not sending strings, we have to come back down to our collection view cell for item at index path. So you can see right here we have the string that we're getting from the items, but we really need the class feed item. So we're going to have the class feed item, we'll also call that buff, is equal to a cast of a class feed item in items and the index path dot row. Get rid of that top one. And now when we load the cell, you can see that buff is our class feed item. Now when we run this, you can see that we loaded all the images one through four. And the next tutorial we'll go through and keep going through and kind of spruce this up a little bit and we'll also add buttons to the cells which will have callback features to the main class.
Thanks.